Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Glenda Patton from z Games, and we'll be talking about Beyond Baker Street by Robin Lees and Steve yes. McKenzie, which you sort of advance released at Origins. That is uh, correct. 2016, and um, we advance released it at the UK Game Expo as Even well, actually, okay. because it was the first time that we actually released something at the UK Game Expo because the guys were there to present it and they were very happy to do so. That's, so. Uh, yes, that is a good reason to do so. Go UK, you That's got an right. exclusive for once, hopefully you will get more. <laughs> That's right. So you need more British designers selling you right? stuff and there you make, go. make it happen there. Um, so what are we doing in the game? Okay, so in Beyond Baker Street, you are trying to find the clues to a crime before Sherlock Holmes does. Okay, so you're kind of in, of in competition All with right. Sherlock Holmes to find the clues. It has a little aspect like Hanabi where you are holding your cards like this and you cannot see them. Okay. So on your turn you can say, oh, this card is blue to someone else. Right. And then after that another pl player could say, all right, I told you this card is blue. And the other one will say, this card is a four. So you are trying to solve the clues by getting to the number that is here. So if you know now that this one is a blue and a four, on your turn you can say, all right, well, I am putting this towards the clue. Okay. If it is the correct color and you don't go above your 10, you're all good. If you mess up and put that here, this is added to the total of the number you have to find for your clue. Okay. So you've lost it two ways. You lost for both this and make this harder. And exactly. Okay. And so Sherlock will advance on his track every time that you give a clue to someone. Okay. So I told you it was blue, he went up one. Someone else told you that it was a four, he went up one again. So you have to try and give the best clues that you can okay. for him not to get to the end of his track before you have found all four clues. Okay. And then to make things a little harder on yourself, you also have to add cards here into the impossible. The impossible will allow you to advance on your own track and you have to get 220 and solve all of the three clues before Sherlock Holmes. So if you told me, oh, this card is the greenish gray one. We don't have any clues that require that, so I would go, all right, I'll put that here. We can advance four. Okay. And when you're giving clues, you're restricted to giving clue about a about, single card. No, you. I could you say these three cards are the copper color. Okay. So and then so you I would know, know I can all right. Play at least one of them. I can just to play get at least one of them to get started. All exactly. Right. So you can give clues about the color or the number on the card. Okay. So if you would have two fives in your hand, I would say these two cards are fives. All right. You build upon that. Yeah, and then you have little characters that have abilities that can help you out as well. So everyone has their own little character at the start of the game. Some okay. abilities are kind of mean and hinder you, and some other abilities help. So that's a little a little fun aspect okay. in there to help. They're them. dealt out at random to you. Absolutely. You don't know who you are. You don't know who you are. Okay. That's not a it's a weird deduction alone. It's it, it's a weird I guess it goes with not knowing and, what your cards well, are as well. Absolutely. So. And it is really, really easy to catch to catch how to play this game. Right. And it is super fun. Okay. We and are almost sold out at the booth right now, so okay. if people watching want it, hurry up. <laughs> well, if they're watching, they're probably at home. Well, they're, they're I out mean, of luck. they could be or sitting outside the hall and watching, right? <laughs> that seems weirdly obsessive. You'd be like, I'm not going to go inside the hall. I'm just going to sit here and wait. Don't want to miss things. <laughs> thanks for the overview of Beyond Baker Street. No problem.